Welcome to another session from LearnReason.com. My name is Matt. This video is sponsored by HDRefills.com. Hear and feel the difference. Go check them out. You'll be glad you did. In this session, we're going to go over the new pitch edit feature in Reason 9. And with pitch edit, what you can do is edit a monophonic signal. This is not made for doing polyphonic signals. It's made for doing monophonic signals. So when you're doing a monophonic signal like vocals, it makes it super easy to, you know, edit, you, you know, your, your notes as you sing. And uh, it sounds great and it's super easy to do. So to open it up, all you do is you click on your audio source and go up to pitch edit. It opens it up. Now it has all your, all the, the it, it breaks up the audio file into different notes and you'll see the, the keyboard here. And let's go over these, this, these right here, these uh, uh, buttons here. And, and then we'll go over the ones up here and I'll show you how to use this and you're, it's really super easy, easy to use. So just for starters, I just sang this in and if I want to correct it, I'll show you how easy it is to do. I can click one and press command or control A and it selects them all. And you know, which one I have picked here, whatever one I have picked here, I can just say correct. It just corrected them all. It's that simple. Okay, or I can select a number of them and just correct them. I can select one and correct it. It's that simple. Okay, so what we have here is the monitor. If the monitor is on, you will hear the sound. If it's off, you can move it and you won't hear the sound. Here you have your transpose types, and jump is the default one. And what that means is it will preserve your original pitch. Now what I want you to do is look at this. I'm, I'm, I'm going to select this, this one uh, note here, or you know phrase in, in the singing. And I want you to look at the fine tuning. See how it's 17? It's E3, 17. When I move it, it's just going to move the note, actually. The note changes. But you see how the fine tuning doesn't change? It's preserving the pitch. Now, if I click on snap, now watch, now, now watch what happens here. It's going to go to an exact semitone. See how it went to zero? It's E3. It's perfect that. That's what it is. It didn't preserve my original pitch. And you can always say reset. Or you can go back. There we go. So in other words, if you do something, you can reset it. Uh, now with the fine tune, it is just that. What it gives you is absolute free reign and sense. It's no different than doing this up here, clicking one at a time, or you can drag it one at a time. Here I'll turn on the sound so you can hear. So it's super fine tuning giving you complete control over each possible scent of a movement in you know in the uh, semitones. And it's, it's the most fine it's fine tuning is what it is. They make it pretty easy to understand. Okay, so that's what, what these are. So, okay, what we'll do is just listen to this passage and let you hear what it sounds like, and then we'll, we'll do a quick little uh, correction, and we'll start using the, you know, I'll show you the drift handle and the um, transition handle. Okay? Every day, every way, over here, over there, life's just a party. Ever since you walked out on me. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab this part here for the demonstration. 
I grabbed it, dragged it. I have it on jump. I want to preserve my original pitch. I'm just going to correct it. So I corrected it. And of course, once, once I highlight or grab any of these, the notes here, on the top, I get the drift handle. On the bottom, I get the transition handle. And what this does is the top one drift will, will control your vibrato. So let's just, let's just listen to it now. Every day, every way, over here, over there, life's just a party. So if we just bring them all down just a smidge, and as I do this, you see it up here, the drift. So maybe just 80%, you know, around there. And what it does, listen. Every day, every way, over here, over there, life's just a party. What it does is it, it just kind of smooths out the vibrato, so it's more consistent. It's, uh, so when you're singing, you're not going, well, ah, 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 you know, up and down, up and down with your vibrato. It smooths it out. It's really cool, and it, it really works really well. Now for the transition handles, let's, let's go out here so we can see. So here we have a transition where you know, it's a lower note going to a higher note, and you'll see the transition right now is it's signified, you know, let you know what it is by these uh, colors there. See, if you, you can make it transition bigger or smaller. And what this does is you can think of this as like a crossover or a fade on audio. When you, you, know, you put splice two uh, uh, you know, loops together or something, or you cut some audio, well, this is what this is doing is it, is it, can, it gives you the ability to train, uh, change that, that transition. So I'm gonna give you a sample of what the difference is. If you have a lot, if you have a big, you know, a nice wide transition, you know, a big curve here, you get this. Walk that on me. That on me. Now, if you have no transition, you get this. It's choppy. You walk that on me. Hear that? Let's let let's do it this way instead. Let's grab a bunch and let's listen to them right from here. Ever since you walked out on me. So now let's take away the transition. And you get this choppiness. Ever since you walked out on me. It's choppier. It's, it's not, it just, you know, each phrase doesn't uh, go into each one, you know, uh, smoothly. It's kind of choppy. And you'll notice this in certain phrases when, when, peop when people are singing. Like if we get, uh, let's get some of this here. Listen to this. Here, over there, life's just a party. Let's take away the transition. Here. Over there, life's just a party. Over here, over there. We bring it up more, smoother. Way over here, over there, life's just a party. Take it away again. What? Listen how choppy it is. Way over here, over there, life's just a party. So basically, transition is all it is. Is it's a fade in to the each each note or a fade out of each note. And it gives you uh, the ability to make things a little more smoothie, smoother, or you can actually take the, the, the transitions out and just have it choppy. And it's kind of cool that you, know, you, have to, you have to mess around with it because each vocal passage is gonna be unique. So some vocal um, passages might be really cool having very little transition some might be better with a lot of transition uh and and that's where you have to you test it out i mean you can have tr you can have no transition in some and a lot of transition in others you have you have all the different notes to uh mess around with it's really pretty cool and and basically that is how easy it is to use pitch edit but let me show you one other cool thing when you're in pitch edit you can quantize each note or all of them right in here. So in other words, I can go here and I can drag and say I select this phrase right here and I want to quantize it to a different setting here. I can do that. I select it, I right click and I quantize. Boom. It just quantized this, those, uh, those notes that I picked out, which gives you some really cool uh, power in 
your vocal phrases and quantizing them, you know, in their timing and everything. It's it's really pretty cool. You can quantize one note, you know, just I can go here, select this, and I can quantize it. It just quantized it. You know, it's pretty cool. So basically that's uh you know note edit up here you can change your format your your you can change the level of each one right here up here with the all the properties this will be where all your properties are for each one that you have selected and you can go up there and fine tune every part of this note right up here so you know i hope this helps you guys out and pitch edit is really, really cool in uh, in Reason 9. It really is. It sounds amazing, and it's so easy to use. So get in there and try it and, and you know, use the different uh, vibratos and the transitioning, and I'm sure you're going to be, like, uh, pleasantly amazed at what you can do with it and, you know, quantizing right in the edit. The pitch edit mode is really cool and powerful. So I hope this helps you guys out. and. You know, the way you can help me out is to like, follow, subscribe, and share. That really helps me out. I really look forward to seeing you guys in the next tutorial. Take care.